learners um, in this session I have the technique for you that may look from a distance like printmaking but it's not it's done with dry material which is oil pastel it's, it's called scrabita from Italy Italian which means scratching but we can just call it scratching um, there are a variety of ways of doing it I'll give you some tips uh, in video how to mix colors use different colors and different scratching techniques. So I'm looking forward to what you create with so many possibilities. Take care. Bye bye. OK, let's talk about supplies first. So you will need some, uh, first of all, images to create your own stencils or masks. Uh, you can do them freehand. Um, if you're not feeling comfortable doing that, you can use magazine images like here. Um, so you know options are yours you can do beautiful one freehand or just go with whatever is there and, and try to alter images that already in magazines um, it is important when you choose your magazine to think how it's going to look when all those details are gone because you can recognize face here or it could be details of the object if you go with the object but we only need to concentrate on the outline because that's how stencils and masks work. We can add details later, but they will not be the main body of the stencil. So here, for example, I had to cut out this bit of hair because I knew when I joined those hair with the uh, arms, in terms of the outline, that won't be visible because outlines only go on the outer edge. So to help yourself visually, always turn your picture another way around, um, real, <laughs> turn it over. And now you can see what your stencil is going to look like when you get rid of all of those details and alter your stencil to the shape that you want to have um, and use as your mask. So here I got rid of bits of the hair here. Um, this is another one I used is the figure. And again, when I turn it, I um, got rid of this part in the middle so the legs will be more visible. I made neck more visible by cutting in and I made the hair, the bun more visible as well. So always turn it and see what it's like when details are gone. So first thing you do, you of course outline that on your um, page, paper and newspaper that's a bit um, thicker. Um, if you can, because it's going to be your mask. So outline it first with pencil or pen, marker, and then cut it out. So I've done that already. So I'm getting rid of that. And this is my stencil. So you can see, you know, how important those tiny details are now um, of the edge, because they will form the shape. Another one I have here is from the figure. And the same thing this is my stencil now uh, if you have ready-made stencils feel free to use them as well okay what else you need is paper uh, watercolor paper or mixed media paper will do try on any paper you have and then you need all pastels in two contrasting colors but in terms of the value which I mean light and dark so you need something that it's much darker because that's going to be your top layer and then something lighter it's going to be your underneath layer and you'll be scratching with a sharp stick or it could be cocktail stick or kebab stick you'll be scratching into the surface with revealing the black uh, the, the dark and um, taking the dark off and revealing the light that you're going to put underneath okay so let's let's get started so i will work as example with this mask so i'm just positioning it where i do want it on the page just thinking 
here okay so it's just about composition and i know now that wherever i decide to put it i will have to have two layers of my old pastel in this area the rest doesn't really matter unless you want to do free hands scratching or apply another mask but basically wherever is the mask you need two layers so i'll be i'm gonna go for this orange just mark the this top and sides okay so this is my lighter and i know i have to apply it where the stencil is gonna be now because it's it, this one is broken and short i'm just going and playing inside but you can also use it in more traditional way the idea is to cover it cover the paper so you don't see much paper i've done the masking tape because i want to take it off later have a mini frame Sometimes I will have to go over it again. You need quite a lot of pressure, so it takes a bit of energy. Because you need to cover all those wide visible areas of your paper. Okay, almost there. I just. those tiny white parts okay so i'm going back with my stills and thinking okay that's enough it will cover the finger fully now i also have this remaining area where i'll be able to do the same technique because so i may want to extend my figure with something but i don't want to do scratching everywhere and um, so um i'm going to go with my darker now and cover that light area so gonna go with blue um, I'm also thinking here when you apply it you can combine two colors light colors if you want well, that's maybe not very interesting but you might have more interesting colors you can blend them a bit okay so the top layer must be darker and you must physically sit on top of the first layer so do not blend it with your finger or tissue and try to apply one solid layer and sometimes you will need to go over it to cover it fully but don't go over it too long because then you're going to blend those two and you don't want to blend it so of course lots of pressure to be able to get the dark on top You can mix here a few colors but very careful because you don't want it to blend with your orange okay i think that's enough yeah and the rest of my page i can cover with whatever i want i just do that blue this is area where i know i won't be doing um, the mask you can blend colors here, you can do whatever you want. You can do the background. Okay, so the fun starts now. Decide where you want your mask. So I'm going Okay. Like that. 
I'm gonna lose that hand. All you do, you scratch off, so don't over scratch again. You just want to scratch off the dark. And this is how you reveal the pastel underneath. Now, you can scratch like cross hatching, just do the lines, but you can also fully scratch the dark. Let me do it here. It takes more time, it's quite enjoyable. Sometimes you have to remove that pastel from your stick. You could make patterns inside with it, leave the lines or be bold and get rid of the top layer of dark pastel fully. This is this has so many possibilities. So for example, here for the hair, for the hair bun, I think this kind of movement is quite fun. Okay, so I'm just showing you a variety of effects you can get. And it's quite time consuming while relaxing as well. So when you're done, you take that mask off. You can actually take it off even when the main outline is done. And of course, you can also do a freehand, you know, if, if that's what you want. So here I'm going to add, you can also alter the mask. So I'm going to add legs more if visible. So this is freehand drawings and you could also do that if you decide to apply two layers um, outside the mask, you could go and do a freehand drawing scratching there as well. Okay, let me finish with that and I, sh and I take a picture of the final piece. Have fun with it. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it and let me know what you created. Bye bye. Okay, this is a ready piece and you can see some area, areas I scratched fully, some I just used for freehand drawing. Um, this is interesting part when I'm going from two layers to one layer, so I get this transition. Um, it would be interesting if you experiment on smaller sizes with different colors and for your underneath color as well, feel free to use more than just one. I only used orange here, a bit of gray that hasn't come through us um, um, so much, uh, but you can use more than that. And also you can work on that background. You know, I may add more colors here, maybe navy, so I can create transition from black into, um, into blue. So have fun and enjoy it.